this section we're going to talk about replacing the vial sample seals. Uh, there is a lower seal and an upper seal uh, inside the cap and then here on the little uh, nipple that protrudes off the top block. So uh, the reason why you want to replace that is uh, when you insert the vial repeatedly over and over again, it wears on the o-ring at the top. Same goes for the sample tube that goes into the unit. Uh, through the top portion here, it slides past the o-ring. So that wears, and those are replaceable apart. So after a while, after doing that repeatedly over and over and over again, <coughs> you're going to find that uh, your sample will sometimes go all the way up and it'll reach just about the top, but it doesn't want to go over the crest of the top of the tube when it's bent over. And that's a good indication that your seals are actually worn out. So what you want to do is you want to go to your parts kit and you're going to get, uh, you're going to replace, might as well replace all the seals right away. So you're going to uh, grab the two large O-rings and they're Viaton. And then uh, there's two small tiny O-rings inside your, your um, Troiko parts kit that you want to grab out of there. <coughs> so you're going to take uh, your tube out, you're going to take your sample off, and you're going to cut this uh, O-ring off of the nipple on the bottom. So you'll take a little razor blade and cut it off, uh, throw it away, and then you got to put this one on. And what you got to do is you got to actually start from the back, get started, and then it takes a little bit of uh, uh, effort, but uh, you can get it back on there. Uh, <laughs> and then the top O-ring, if you take the cap off, it just unscrews. <coughs> there is a tiny o-ring on the inside and uh, to replace that what we'll do is just take your sample tube and put it through the o-ring and pop it out and now it's on the sample tube so you, <coughs> if you want to replace it the easiest way to do that is to take your sample tube and put it through the top cap and take uh, your o-ring and put it on the end to keep it in place so it's not moving around when you put it in. Then all you have to do is uh, insert the tube in and tighten it down and that will keep the o-ring in the groove and you can move that.